This is my Rivian R1T. So I've had my Rivian uh, since September 2022. Uh, so it's been a little bit more than a year now. Um, apart from the expected growing pains as far as a brand new company, car company, uh, figuring things out, um, I have nothing bad to say about this truck. Um, we've gone on plenty of adventures. I've tried to take this thing um, to do as much as it can do while traveling all these different places, which was a huge reason of why I wanted the vehicle. Uh, the capabilities are just, it's uh, endless really. Um, but uh, this video is just gonna go over just everything that I like about it, dislike, um, accessories that I have for it, and uh, go. So this is the Thule Cap Rock. Um, I added this probably about back in December, so a month and a half or so. Um, it's been a really nice platform. Uh, definitely gives the truck a totally different look, like the bed piece here. Um, I'm just really now starting to um, add different pieces to it. So uh, these are just uh, Max Tracks with the Rivian Max Tracks mounts. Really simple to put in. It's a great platform to add more stuff. I'm looking to add more pieces to it, uh, some storage. Uh, gentleman on Instagram, it goes by the handle of Offroad Milo. He's got a lot of videos of pulling huge semi trucks out of ditches, and I saw him add pieces to it. Uh, I really liked his setup. He's got one over the top, um, but I really like the bed piece. So the next thing that I added down here, uh, these are the DCE rock sliders. Uh, I installed these myself. They say you can install it by your one person. Uh, as far as sliding them in, uh, following directions, you're definitely gonna need to because these guys are pretty heavy to lift and maneuver. But um, these were a special request by my wife because even with the Neil mode with Rivian, it was still hard for her to get into the truck. So, um, and then not only that, it does add extra, obviously, protection underneath. So, um, installing these took about, I would say, a day and a half or so. I had to break it up because it was getting too dark and ran out of light. But um, these are awesome. Just getting in. I mean, they're super sturdy. Um, I've taken a off-road class, and I felt totally... Um, secured with this and not worried if I was to hit any rocks or anything like that. Um, I also have the door sills by DCE. Um, this was because going on all, you know, you know, your trips, off-road trips and stuff, um, your shoes get rocks jammed up inside. I was already noticing scratches on the door sill. So just to create longevity for the truck, keep it in as best condition as I can. I uh, bought these little door sills, very easy to put on. So another little piece that I added, uh, you might see these two pieces. Um, if you watch my Utah video and my Redwood uh, National Park video, I have my iCamper 270 awning. I leave the mounts on uh, mainly because it's just easier to mount the um, the awning on. So all I'll do is pick it up, slide it in, put the bolts on, tighten it up, and you're good to go. Super simple, super easy. So inside.
outside the cabin, um, just a few little things. I really try not to modify too much if I don't have to. Uh, this, can't really see it, but it's my little memento when I first uh, drove. It's the first mile little ribbon that they gave you. You wear it around your wrist. Uh, it was the first time I was able to test drive a Rivian, see it in person at the Sonoma Raceway, uh, obviously in Sonoma. Uh, but uh, that's my little keepsake for my Rivian adventures. Um, I bought the um, wireless charging MagSafe charger from Soonish. So shout out to uh, that team for installing this because um, I mean Rivian's got they they have to they have to redo that wireless charger for their for, for their phones. It was just sliding all over the place. Finding the perfect spot to get it to charge was such a pain in the butt. Um, the MagSafe I mean, with my iPhone, literally just put it on. It stays, it's already charging. Um, it's a good charge and it stays in place. If you go off road, it, I've taken off road, it stays in place just fine. Um, I also have like the little uh, color scheme that they have with the little topography map. Um, adds a little bit of different different color to the, uh, to the cabin, a little character to the Rivian. Um, this is just the phone mount. Uh, really right now I'm, uh, because the maps are slowly getting better with Rivian, uh, they're now a glorified sunglasses holder. Um, you can get it on Amazon. I'll link everything in this video if anyone's interested. So another uh, thing that I added, so I got all the windows tinted. Um, I did get the front sh windshield tinted and they're not supposed to up in California. It was a risk I'm willing to take, <laughs> but um, as far as like heat getting into the car, I know there's got the glass roof. Some people complain as far as, I mean, thankfully California doesn't get too hot in comparison to some of the other states, but um, it blocks out a lot of heat. Uh, I, in the summer times, I'm probably putting my AC on the first or second level. So it really helps out. But um, I do have 45 in the front and 20% all around. Um, So when I first got the truck, uh, I was worried because the front of the Rivian is totally flat. Um, it, there is no sort of like aer I'm sorry, aerodynamic design. Any rocks, because it's so flat, was going to go straight into it. So I did get the uh, Expel PPF on this, just the front. Um, I haven't decided yet if I want to do the size. I've been thinking about it. Uh, unfortunately, when we drove through Arizona. I was uh, driving behind a fabulous huge semi truck. Uh, all of a sudden I started getting um, some rocks thrown in and one of them chipped the window. It was very small. I tried to uh, get an appointment with Safe Flight to fill it, but unfortunately overnight it exploded to like 20 inches. So uh, I've got an appointment to get that replaced, but um, I do have the Expel uh, full front end covers, so it's got the side mirrors. Uh, it also has the quarter panels here, obviously the uh, frunk. There's a few little chips over time since I've been driving it um, that have gone here. This probably would have hit through on the paint and chipped it. So I am very thankful for this. It's held up really well. I'm not sure if you could see it, but it's the crack going all the way through, all the way down. So, service center, here I come. So in the bed, just got a few little things. Um, these are actually really fantastic. These are called oop, loop ropes. Um, basically, these are adjustable um, elastic pieces that you can tie things down um, please don't make fun of me in my Disney towel I just use that for dirty probably have that since I've been 15 or so uh, inside we just got some some little foldable chairs little little odds and ends so one of the biggest flexes that I have is uh, brace yourself
tonneau cover still works. All right, I did that for this video. So obviously the uh, new tonneau cover update's coming out. Um, I've been thankfully had no issues with this cover uh, since I've had it. I spoke to a service rep quite some time ago um, when I had mobile service and he basically said use a, uh, it's a specialist uh, lubricant, WD-40. Uh, and he said a lot of them got stuck with the, uh, with the slats sticking together when they went inside. So every time I wash my truck, I would spray those between the slats, um, clear out the rails on the side. I mean, it was kind of a pain, but it was one of those things where I wanted to do it so I can have, I didn't know when this you know, next update was coming out and um, Rivian is slowly calling people in finally, which is good, but again, you know, I'm still waiting for that retro or not retrofit, but update. But um, yeah, if you still got the old system, the old tonneau cover, um, definitely use that WD-40 uh, specialist lubricant. I'll, I'll link it to an Amazon link if you guys are interested in it. Uh, but I've used it almost uh, about a year and a half, or year and a few months now, and tonneau cover is still ripping. So obviously not everything is good. There are some bad. Um, a lot, honestly, a lot of it for me has been very minor, uh, more so just uh, minor inconveniences, but this is also uh, growing pains, what's expected from a brand new company, brand new car company. Um, some of the things I've had, the uh, obviously the suspension, I had a small uh, leak in my air suspension, so if I went on vacation for a week, I would come home and the vehicle, especially in the front, was like on the lowest setting. So uh, taking that to Rivian, um, I have some squeakiness as like if I had bad brakes. Uh, been there twice, um, still not totally fixed. Uh, you can still hear it. But the last update, however, with the brake regen assist, I have noticed that gone away. So maybe, but uh, it's really minor things. I had the center console switched out the two buttons that release the um, console to open it up uh, it would take like four or five six times to presses to open that up um, so they, it was cool Rivian mobile service came out they came to my house they uh, replaced it with the new center console and uh, now works perfectly another small issue that I had was uh, I had some uh, I guess it was a small, either some of the weather stripping wasn't totally sealed within the door. So whenever it would rain or I would wash my truck, the uh, water was inside. So probably for like a good couple, two or three days, you would be driving, come to a stop and you just hear the sloshing inside the door. Um, again, took it to Rivian Service Center, fixed it, um, not a big deal, but Honestly, a lot of the stuff has just been really minor. Um, I haven't had any serious issues. Uh, I haven't, thankfully, crossed my fingers. Haven't had any issues with road trips. Um, we've gone down Big Sur. We've gone down to Joshua Tree. We've gone up to Redwood National Park. Uh, we've been up to Bend, Oregon. Uh, and most recently um, to Utah, where we visited uh, we went through Vegas, Valley of Fire, uh, Bryce Canyon, and Zion National Park. Um, all those little adventures, if you guys are curious, they are uh, in my channel. And you can see those videos in here if you're interested. So this coming weekend, we'll be going up to Yosemite. Uh, we're going to be going up in the snow. It is the first time taking the truck into the snow. I've never seen Yosemite in the snow, which is a big reason why I wanted to go up there. Yosemite is an awesome place. If you're interested in that adventure, please like and subscribe. Also, we're gonna be going up to uh, about another month or so. Uh, we're gonna be driving up to Wyoming. Uh, we're gonna see, gonna go check out Jackson Hole. Never been to Wyoming. I need to do a lot of planning because uh, 
obviously charging is still, infrastructure is still in its uh, newborn stages and I don't want to get stranded. my thoughts, so my little adventures, my small review. Uh, I didn't want to go too much into the truck as far as tech specs and all that kind of stuff because you can find that stuff all over the internet. There's tons of videos overviewing it. I just want to talk about my own unique experience, uh, the things that I have on my truck. Uh, if you guys have any questions or want to see something more uh, about the truck or going over something, please drop a comment, so tell me what you want to see. If you uh, have some opinions on the channel or things that I can do better, um, please comment, tell me, let me know, because I started this channel just for fun, record my uh, adventures with Rivian, all the places, special places to go uh, that I wasn't able to go a lot of times before, and a huge reason why I decided to buy this truck. So thank you guys again. Peace.